once again i am here in front of you to bring the chapter of standard ninth from the book moments this is the part 2 in the part 1 we have learned that how the swallow and the happy prince meet and what were the miseries to be seen by the happy prince to be situated on the tall pole and how he has given to say or to solve the miseries his all the valuable things from his soul now the bird with not full interest but even with full of sympathy he has to stay there he was wanting to move from there to egypt near the nile river because his all fellow mates his all friends have gone there for the migration because there is too much cold and they cannot survive there for the longer period but for the help of the happy prince he is there to help and he is taking out the ruby the red ruby which is fixed in the sword in the handle of the sword of the happy prince so now we will start from the page number 30 the middle paragraph the swallow picked out the great ruby from the prince's sword and flew away with it in his beak over the roofs of the town the swallow picked out now he is obeying to the happy prince and he is picking out the red ruby from the handle of the sword and he is wanting to flew from there and he is keeping the red ruby into his beak and now he is flew away over the towns of the roofs he passed by the cathedral tower where the white marble angels were sculpted he passed by the palace and heard the sound of dancing a beautiful girl came out on the balcony with her lover he passed by the cathedral tower now here is the description about the city what is situated there and what are described in which form so now first of all when the uh, bird the swallow was fly flying he was seen that there was the cathedral tower the church where the white marble angels were sculptured on that church on that above part the top topmost part the white angels were sculptures means two white angels were marbled there on the white marble stone now he has come near the palace where he has listening the sound the voice of the angels of the princes who were dancing there and the beautiful girl is there who is in the balcony of her house and he is see that she is there the queen the princess is there beautiful girl is there with her lover aho my dress will be ready in time for the sled board she said i have ordered flowers to be embroidered on it but the seamstress are so lazy now this conversation is shows shown that this is the conversation of that queen who has given the dress to the scene stress for the dance for the party now she is saying that she is hoping for her dress and she will be there to wear that dress it will be completed on time by that scene stress by that lady tailor she is saying that i have ordered flowers to be embroidered on it me she is demanding she is said that she has wanted the dress with the embroidered flowers and see miss dress is not so good she is too lazy and she is not there to do the work on time or at first period he passed over the river and saw the lanterns hanging on the mast of the ships at last he came to the poor woman's house and looked in the boy was tossing feverishly on his bed and mother has fallen asleep she was so tired now she passed over the river now the bird has come on uh, over the river and she has seen that the lanterns the lights were hanging out on the mast mast 
sail of the ship means ships were there on the river and on the river the ships are there and over the mast there are the lighters to give the direction to give the light and she is flying over there now at last she has reached on that poor woman's house she is inside the house and on the bed there is the ill boy of that seamstress of that tailor and he is tossing means he is bouncing he is not comfortable to lie down there because he is having the fever and due to the fever he is not comfortable and he is tossing he is jumping on bed and the mother has fallen asleep she is too much tired to do the work for the whole day and she is too tired and she has got the sleep in he hopped hopped and laid the great ruby on the table beside the woman's timber then he flew gently round the bed fanning the boy's forehead with his wings how cool i feel said the boy i must be getting better and he sank into a delicious slumber now in in he hopped now he has come the bird has entered inside the house and he is having the hope and he is putting the lead on the table where the timbal timbal the instrument who is used to bear on the finger or the thumb not to be pinged pricked by the needle so the protector the instrument the tool is putting there and near the woman's timbal near the woman's tool the bird is putting the ruby and he is fanning he is flipping her wings his wings and he is giving the sound sleep he is giving the fresh air on the face of the feverish boy and he is feeling so much cold and he is saying oh how feel i cold how much cold it is means he is so much relaxed through the wings through the air and he is now in deep sleep and he is now silent he is much better and he is feeling better and now he is slumber in delicious slumber delicious for which thing is used delicious for the food but here the slumber is said slumber is meaning is sleep sleep deep sleep means he is in deep sleep he is feeling that he he is feeling good and he is in deep sleep then the swallow flew back to the happy prince and told him what he had done it is curious in mark but i feel quite warm now although it is so cold the swallow flew back means now he has come back to the happy prince's statue and he is telling each and everything every incident which was happened there and he has done the thing what was given which was given to the swallow by the happy prince and a happy prince is too much happy and he is saying that you have done the curious work you have done the remarkable work but i feel quite warm now although it is so cold he is saying that i i am too much feeling hot even then there is no much hotness only because of the thought because of the feelings he is feeling then the swallow flew back to the happy prince now that is because you have done a good action said the prince and the little swallow began to think and then fell asleep thinking always made him sleepy now happy prince is saying that this is because you have done a good action only you were there to help me to do the good work that's why my work is finished and the little swallow was thinking that he has all the day was there to fly and now till now till then at night also he is to fly over there now he was also too much tired and he got sleep when day broke he fell down on to the river and had a bath tonight i go to the egypt said the swallow and he was in high spirits at the prospect the he visited all the monuments and sat a long time on the top of the church steeple see all the things all the imaginations are just like the human beings means here the statue and even the bird is personified so the whole chapter is personified and here he is taking the bath when the day broke he flew down to the river means when the sun rays were there and he got up and he went to the river for the bath for the swimming 
and now he was saying tonight i go to now he is promising himself that tonight it will be confirmed that i will be go to the egypt with my to my friends from here now he is saying that it is the highest place to the prospect he visited all the monuments and sat a long time on the top of the church steeple he was in the high spirit of all the prospects prospect prospects means thought of something he was in the deep conversation in deep thinking and he is himself thinking he is having all the spirits all the imagination in the thinking he visited all the monuments all the things all the buildings and even he was top of the church is sipping high tower of the church means the last top point of the church now he came there and he stood on that steeple on the top of the church when the moon rose he flew back to the happy prince have you any commissions for egypt he cried i am just starting swallow swallow little swallow said the prince will you stay with me one night longer i am waited for in egypt answer the swallow now when the moon rose flew means when the night was arrived and the swallow come back to the happy prince and he was crying he was shouting now have you any commissions for egypt means now you are i am there now to give the permission to take the permission for the egypt now i am started to go from here now again happy prince was shouting and saying swallow swallow please little swallow will me with me will you with me one night longer he is requesting him to be there for one night more but he answered the swallow answered that no i am waited means my friends are there to wait for me so i have to go there again happy prince is saying swallow swallow little swallow said the prince far away across the city i see a young man in a garret he is learning sorry leaning over a desk covered with papers and in the glass by his side there is a bunch of withered violets his hair is brown and crisp and his lips are red as a pomegranate again he is telling another misery to the swallow and he is saying that far away across the city he is seeing that far away from there he is seeing a young man near the garret garret means small dark room at the top of any house means the house is there and on the topmost room he is there in his room and he is leaning over he leaning bending he is bending over the desk it means it shows that he is tired and he is not able to sit properly and all the papers are scattered there on the table and in the glass by the side there is a bunch of withered violets violets the flowers kind of flowers withered worn out means near the table near that person near that boy there is a glass of water in which the violet flowers the flowers are there which are worn out his hair is brown and crisp means he is not too much active it shows that he is tired because his hair is also not good in good sequence in good partitions it is brown in color and his lips in red just like the pomegranate means he is feeling reddish and warmish and his hair is not good it is tired and he has large and dreamy eyes he is trying to finish a play for the director of the theater but he is too cold to write any more there is no fire in the grate and hunger has made him faint now he is showing means his appearance is showing that he is not feeling good and he is feeling cold that's why he is lying over the desk he has the work to write the play to write the writing play is a short story is the writer uh, writing for the hap, director of the theater and he is feeling too cold he is not able to write the play or even then there is no any fire in great great means fireplace have you seen in the pictures of the story is that in the house there is a wall and near, near the dining table or the tables there is a mantel piece means the slab and under the slab there is a fireplace inside the wall means the persons are having the things the coals and the fire things for the 
warmness so even in the great great even in the fireplace there is no any fire to keep warm him and he is not able to write any writing or any play even he is having the hunger he is not even having to eat for his health I will wait with you one night longer," said the swallow, who really had a good heart. He asked if he should take take another ruby to the young playwright. Now the swallow is asking again. He is himself realizing that now he has done so much good work, so much merciful work. So he is himself asking that I can wait for you one more night more. Now he is having the good heart. That's why he is asking like this. and he asks if he should take another means he is asking to take out the another sapphire from his heart for the playwright alas i have no ruby now said the prince my eyes are all that i have left they are made of rare sapphires the swallow was asking the ruby to take out to give the playwright but now this time he sorried the prince is sorried and he is saying that i am not any more having ruby only i am having two sapphires which are my eyes so only these two precious precious things the rare the precious things sapphires by which my eyes are made which were brought out of india 1000 years ago he hold ordered the swallow to pluck out one of them and take it to the playwright he will sell it to the jeweler and buy firewood and finish his play he said he is saying that the prince is saying that this is brought out of india means it is not the rare ununique sapphires but it is imported it is unique and precious sapphires and this was brought before 1000 years and he is ordering to pluck it out from his eyes from his one eye single eye to give for the play writer by which he can sold it and he can take the money for selling it to the jeweler and he can use the firewood he can buy the firewood and he can use the fire by which he can be warmed and he will be able to write the play Dear prince said the swallow I cannot do that but he began to weep swallow swallow little swallow said the prince do as i command now this time he is having too much sympathy and emotions and he is saying that dear prince no i cannot do that because he is knowing that if he will pick it out then the prince will not be able to see from the both eye so to say like that he is about to weep but the prince was there he is also too much hurted too much depressed and he is wanting to help that play writer also so he is requesting to the swallow to pick out to pluck out that sapphire from his eye and he is giving the order to do as he is wanting so the swallow plucked out the prince's eye and flew away to the young man's garret it was easy enough to get in as there was a hole in the roof through this he darted and came into the room so the pl- uh, swallow plucked out so as the order was there he did as he was and the plucks prince's eye was not there as it was before and he flew away from there from the happy prince to that young man's house a young man's garret garret the dark room and now it was easy to get inside the house because the house was on the top most of the room and it was easy to go because there was also a hole on the roof and through that hole he darted darted he pointed out ha huh? just dart that is the noun and here noun is used in the form of verb so he darted it he threw it through that hole and he came into the room the young man had his head buried in his hand so he did not hear the flutter of the bird's wings and when he looked up he found the beautiful sapphire lying on the withered violets was buried his head buried to keep inside his hands means he is 
on the bench and his hands was rolling down and between the hands he was putting his head and he was not able to hear any voice any fluttering any wings voice of that bird and when he looked up when he was seeing here and there around his body around his room he found that there was a beautiful sapphire which was lying around the withered violets i told the withered meaning of withered violets means the flowers violets the kind of flowers which are born out means there was there were the flowers which were worn out on the table on which the boy the play writer was putting his head and now he has seen he was able to see the beautiful sapphire there i am beginning to be appreciated he cried this is from some great admirer now i can finish my play and he looked quite happy he has seen as he was there to see the precious sapphire he was too much excited and he, in the excitement he said that it is it is too much appreciated it is too much admiring and who is the person who has given me this the precious thing i am very much grateful for him and he is saying that now i will be able to finish my play and he was looking bright happy the next day the swallow flew down to the harbor he sat on the mast of a large vessel and watched the sailors working i am going to egypt cried the swallow but nobody minded and when the moon rose he flew back to the happy prince the next day swallow flew down to the harbor now this time he was there to come near the harbor harbor is the port where the ships are kept so he has come there and now he is sitting on the mast on the pole of the ship the large vessel vessel the large ship the ship was there and on the mast of that ship he was sitting he was resting and he was seeing what the sailors are doing what the captains are doing of that ship and he was saying he was crying now i am able to go to the egypt now i have done my work but no one is there to listen his voice he was saying it in soft manner and after rising up the moon he flew back to the happy prince means at night time he again went back to the happy prince statue I have come to bid you goodbye," he cried. "Swallow, swallow, little swallow," said the prince. "Will you not stay with me one more night?" Now, after returning to the happy prince, again he was requesting to go from there to Egypt for his friends. But again, the happy prince was requesting to be stay there for one more longer night. It is winter," answered the swallow, "and the snow will soon be here in Egypt. The sun is warm, and on the green palm trees and the crocodiles lie in the mud and look lazily about them." he is saying no i cannot now more any time stay here because there is here is too much coldness but in egypt there is warm sun which is shining on the sky and through this the all the palm trees are green looking green and fresh and the cloak crocodiles are inside the mud and they are taking rest because they are not there to look like the warmness so they are easy and they are lazy and they have kept their bodies inside the mud in the square blue said the happy prince there stands a little march match girl she has let her matches fall in the gutter and they are all spoiled her father will beat her if she does not bring home some money and she is crying she has no shoes nor stockings and her little head is bare pluck out my another eye and give it to her and her father will not beat her again in this paragraph the right uh, writer is wanting to describe the sympathetic or emotional mood of the prince because in this he is saying to pluck out the another sapphire from the another eye so once again he is telling the happy prince is telling the story the another story the another misery to that swallow the happy prince is saying that near the square square the four lane the near the four lanes there i am seeing that there is a match girl he she is 
looking in deep or gloomy mood she is not too happy she is because she is having the match sticks and all the match sticks were falling down in the gutter but this was his request to the swallow and he was saying that the match girl will be happy if you will do my work so he is saying that the little girl she is there standing and she is weeping because all her matches fall in the gutter and they are all spoiled means the little girl was there to save all the matches sticks through which she will get the money and now the happy prince is saying that if she will not get the money to sell them then her father will beat him and she is crying and even she is not having the shoes and socks and stockings the long socks stretchable socks so the writer is saying that she is not even having the socks and shoes and she is their little head and which is also wear means this shows that in this coldness she is not only having the shoes and socks uh, but he she is not having the cap means in this coldness she is wear head and wear foot now he is requesting to the swallow that please pluck out the another eye and for giving that little good because if she will not give then her father will beat her i will stay with one night longer said the swallow but i cannot pluck out your eye would you be quite blind then again she is wanting to request not to pluck it out and she is saying okay that's it i will stay here one more uh, one more night longer but i will not pick it out because if he will pick out pick it out then the prince will be blind so till now is it will be ended and we will start our new third part of this chapter well, this is too longer chapter so keep it watching bye, -bye.